I, I tell you this story because it's not my story, it's God's story. And I tell you this story because history really tells you about the faithfulness of God. And I think it's important that you know a little bit about history. I'm sure your government and history teachers would agree with me. In 1983, Tree of Life decided that they were going to start a high school. I left teaching at Delaware City Schools and came to 40 students. We had a ninth and a 10th grade. We took the ninth and 10th grade and we went to Indianola. Some of you have come from Indianola as elementary students. Indianola was our first high school. We had a lot of our classes in the upper parts of the building and we had some of our classes down in the basement. But it became very obvious, very quick, that if we were going to grow and if this was really going to be a Christian high school, it would be very difficult to stay there at Indianola. And so within the first year, one of the things that we decided that we needed to do as a school was to find a building that we could put the high school and middle school in. And so we started to look. And we went all over the place to try to find a building. We looked at warehouses. We looked at old health clubs. We even looked at air domes, trying to find a place that we could take the high school and middle school and build a high school program. Well, it became very obvious that none of those places were really going to work. And at the same time, the Columbus City Schools were starting to try to sell some of the old buildings that they used to use for some of their middle schools and elementary schools. And so we began to look at some of the Columbus public schools that were sitting vacant, empty, some of them for many years. This building had sat empty for about four years. We got to this building and we realized that this could be a place that we could see a high school and middle school program at. But we had to buy it. And to buy it, it was up for auction. So people put bids in. Our board agreed that they would bid $300,000 to buy this property. We went to the auction, and at the opening bid, another group bid $325,000. And so at that point, I thought, come on, board, bid a little bit more. But the board said no. The board said we are stuck at the amount that we were going to agree to, and so the other group won the bid for this building at $325,000. Well, I was discouraged, to say the least. I was wondering, why did I leave Delaware? That was a great place, kind of like when the children were wandering in the wilderness and going, why did we leave Israel? Why did I leave Delaware? You see? But it became... Uh, a time of prayer and a time of really looking and s realizing what is important. And I, I, I can't stress how great our God is and how awesome he is in seeing ways far above our own ways. About two months after this other group had won the bid, the Columbus Public Schools called us and told us that they couldn't come up with the money, this other group, to buy the building. And this other group had put $50,000 deposit on this building that was non-refundable. That, that meant that we could buy this building for $275,000. And that was money that we had agreed about. And so we purchased this building for $275,000. We bought it in July. And in August, we opened school. And this building was torn apart. Tiles were popped up. Rooms needed to be cleaned. Heating wasn't working. The drinking fountains were on the floor. And you can tell that a lot of this is still an elementary school. But we've tried to change it into a high school. I, t I tell you this story because it, it, it tells you the amazing work that God can do. 
we see things a certain way. We think this is how things ought to go. And God says, no, I've got a better way. I have a better plan. My ways are much higher than your way. My thoughts are way above your thoughts. You think you have it all figured out. But let me show you what I can do, what God can do. And I'll tell you, what God can do is far above anything that man can do. If God wants us in that building, it will happen. If God wants to use that building in another way, it will happen. But I will stand amazed at the faithfulness of our God. He was faithful then, he is faithful today, and he will be faithful tomorrow.